Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. In this video, I'll be going through some of the shrimp farming automation systems that we're actually using in our bioflock farms. We have been using these systems for about two years, even since back then when we were running a small farm, and these systems have actually followed us even to our new farms. So in this video, I'll explain a little bit why do we have to use this, and some of the aspects and consideration of these systems. Welcome back guys, for those who are new to our channel, actually RAS Aquaculture produces a wide range of content with regards to shrimp farming and mud crab farming. And for shrimp farming, we actually use Bioflock technology as our main process to cultivate shrimps as you see over here. So this video is actually from 3 years ago where we actually operated a smaller farm and this farm is actually housed in a shop lot. And back then we already have this what we call settling tanks that are responsible to remove the excess bioflocks from the systems. So bioflocks tend to increase over time because as you feed we tend to add in more lessons to balance out the carbon and the ammonia and over time you have an overgrowth of bioflocks. So it's very common to have this kind of systems along with the bioflock. Uh, process and this sludge that you accumulate actually there are not what we call a lot of waste these are actually microbiome protein in which if it dries up it actually looks like this and under the microscope it actually looks a very different story so what it actually looks like is you can see that the microbes are actually it's activated sludge based microorganism that's responsible to break down the waste and furthermore it can be used for feed for shrimp so that's why biofort can reduce your FCI as a system. So what we have here is a simple automation system in which you know it controls a switch and the switch is actually opens up a solid knot ball valve which you see over here. So this is actually the ball valve that's in a fully open position. So what's cool about this ball valve is actually once the power is cut off it will close it on its own. So you know meaning that the, in, the, in the event of a power failure the ball valve will automatically close up so which is very important we have tried many different different brands and these are the ones that actually have lasted so over two years in operation so we are pretty happy about that and the sludge that we collected over here it actually looks something like that you can see that it's actually quite thick and we have actually a lot of these systems across our biofluxion shrimp farm and even have integrated it with even bigger setting tanks that are 5 cubic meter and these systems are responsible to remove the bioflock for even tanks that are 100 cubic meters in sizes so it's actually a very simple process and we actually have an automation system that's responsible to remove this waste so we are quite happy with the results and how it works and we'll continue to explain more in later videos so that's all for this video. We hope to talk to you again at RS Aquaculture. Until then, do like and subscribe so you can get the latest video on shrimp farming.